Welcome back to Revolution 2 Modded Minecraft Let's Play series. This is episode 9. If you recall, last episode we did a bit of introductory stuff to magic. Um, today we're actually going to be changing um, gears and going into this dungeon here. Um, I've actually dug into this. When I was digging for gold, I kind of scraped into this area. But uh, I didn't explore a whole lot of it. And this is a roguelike dungeon from the mod roguelike dungeons. So we're gonna... I've already prepared a bunch of stuff and I actually made a golden bag of holding. Which, if you're not familiar with that... Um, that's the... Uh, what? Okay. That's the recipe for it, and you can actually take magical wood and give it reincarnating, which will mean that if you die, you'll get to keep the bag. But ours right now is just a standard one, gold block, couple pieces of gold, diamond wool, and a chest. So, um, not too bad of a recipe once you get a little bit of gold. So, we're going to go ahead and climb down into here, and I figured... Well, you know, we're looking for Chromatocraft pieces for, um, so that we would be able to progress in Chromatocraft. Well, the best way to find those, or one really good way to find them, is actually dungeons, so. Um. I'm trying to just clear the hallway up here just a little bit. I might turn the mob noises down just a little bit. Alright. Looks like a spawner there at the end of the hall. So we'll just make a dash for that first thing. And get rid of it. And there we go. And you want to be careful. A lot of these chests Something just blew up somewhere. A lot of these chests are going to be trapped. Um, so you do want to check them before you open them. Just to see if they say, like, trap chest or something. Um, a lot of this, you'll get a lot of enchanted equipment. Most of it's kind of just junk. We'll leave it behind. Uh, we did get a couple pieces of iron. Uh, we don't need snowballs. A lot in them. Um paper books. I'm gonna grab that stuff just because we don't have a sugarcane farm set up just yet and it just makes it um, a little bit easier on us. Now there was, yeah, there's coal right here. Just one piece. Is that really all of it? I don't know. I'm gonna grab this real quick because we do need coal. Um, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of mining in this episode. But, uh, just be easier to grab it. I did. I did bring a, you know, a halfway decent pick, so we can grab it pretty quick. Um, but yeah, that's one thing in this pack. Anything you can mine, you definitely just want to go ahead and mine it because um, resources tend to be a little bit more scarce in this pack. Okay, grab that. Grab that. And that. Okay. And there was a door back here. Right there. And these these rooms are pretty common. You can grab some coal out of there. Out of those furnaces. Um, there's bookshelves. We'll go ahead and smash that. And there's chests with a bunch of stuff in here. Um, let me put some of this stuff away. Jungle sapling. Yeah. We'll just hold on to whatever for right now. And then... And uh, as we go, if we start, you know, running out of space or something, we'll we'll throw some things away. All right. Um, I want to take the seeds and the spider eye, the wheat, the tempered blade. Yes, we want that. It's highly durable, if you notice. Um, unbreaking three and sharpness one on it. Uh, we'll take the cookie, the fish, 
The enchanted book with wrecking one. Yeah, we'll take that. And the book and the paper. And we'll take that just in case we run out of uh, torches. But if you notice, I did bring a lot of torches with us, so um, we should be all right on torches. All right, I guess that is all we're gonna grab. <coughs> Let's see here. There are generally a lot of spawners in um, these roguelike dungeons, and there is a lot of danger, but at the same time, um, due to the high amount of danger, you're going to start getting, you're going to get really good stuff out of these, um, especially the farther down you go. Um, the farther down you go, of course, the danger is going to increase, but so are the rewards. So it's definitely worth checking these out. Um, I'm just hoping we can find maybe some chromatic craft pages or whatnot. A little bit of coal. Um. All right. We'll take the spider eye. Um torches, bones, of course that's bone meal, we'll definitely grab those. Those pants aren't damaged, so let's grab those for now. Um, I'll admit I'm, I'm very much a hoarder when it comes to modded Minecraft, so just be aware. <laughs> You'll see me picking up stuff and it's just like, why is he picking that up? But, uh, yeah. I know where we're at. I was, I had a, my mind went blank for a second. Now what is down here? I did bring our thermometer as well. I don't know that we'll actually need it for anything, but, um, nothing down here. Okay. Suits me just fine. And a lot of times you'll have um, caves and stuff intersecting with these roguelike dungeons. So you can actually find some decent little places to mine. However, um, with this being revolution, I've noticed there's not a whole lot of cave generation in this pack. So, um, you know, if you're playing and you're not finding a whole lot of caves, that's probably why... Um, because due to the the fact that stuff falls and whatnot I'm assuming that's why oh shit <laughs> I'll shoot the cinnabar hell with it um, inspected minerals yeah we'll grab those now these are from rock hounding mod I'm planning on pretty soon hopefully jumping into this in an episode and when covered, there's actually some really nice things in Rock Hounding Mod. Not just decorative stuff, but uh, other things as well. So hopefully we'll jump into that um, before too long. I mean, we've got a lot on our plate, but um, but I would like to jump into that at some point. Alright. figure we'll grab this, because... I actually haven't found a ton of this while I've been mining. Alright. And that's that for this area. Now, this other direction is the way down to the next floor. So I'll show you how you can kind of kind of notice that. You know, without actually checking it. Um, when it's these factory blocks, it's going to be a room like this, like kind of wild uh, decorations and stuff. And that's where the steps are to go down. Actually, let me turn my, my volume down just a little bit, just all around. Because I know drinking this stuff is not... 
It's kind of an annoying sound. Alright. Oh, we got a chest here with a bunch of food. And the worst thing about food and carrying a lot of it and whatnot is um, you actually get this stuff that's like different stages of rotten and all that. So it kind of it's kind of a pain dealing with these different foods. But I do notice it's starting to compact them regardless. I don't know. And there's cake. I probably shouldn't have drank all that uh, juice earlier. I'm just going down to the next floor. We'll finish checking out this floor and just see. There's taters. Old taters. Alright. Now, generally, this isn't one of them. A lot of times there will be rooms like this. And, um, they'll be full of spawners. But this is not one of them. There is nothing up here. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Alright. So we will head on down. Stairs here. We got spiders. In every direction. Alright. Oops. I guess he vanished. He vanished it. Alright. Nothing down there worth grabbing. I do see a spawner down here, so... guys out. Shit. Oh, there's a spawner right there as well. And there's a chest. And another chest. Okay. Now see, if you notice, there's a there's an immense amount of chests in these. Now the only thing is, um, if you notice, I'm not finding like standard dungeon loot. So we might not even find any chromatic rough pages in here. I'm not sure if they still classify this these chests as dungeon loot chests. Oh, we did. It's a blank one though. Um, so I'm gonna grab the iron tools just because they're a little bit a little bit nicer to just grab them. Um Let's see. Yeah, see, if you take a fragment and put it in with paper, you can duplicate it. However, I'm not for sure... I'm not entirely sure if you can actually do much with those blank ones. I'll, I'll look between this episode and next and see if we can figure anything out with those. Um... Yeah. These first floors, if you notice the, the loot that you get out of these is kinda just meh. Nothing nothing too crazy. But um some of the later floors are gonna have pretty wild stuff. Generally. Hey. Hey little buddy. Looks like you got friends coming in the hall too. Okay. We got a spawner down there. What's up with the FPS right now? Alright. Strange we didn't have any zombies spawning. Going down the hall at us. Just these little spiders. Always the little spiders. We did find some Sardis. I actually have found a little bit of Sardis when I've been at my base mining. Because um, it does seem to spawn on top of the mountain uh, quite a bit. So... I've just kind of been grabbing it whenever I find it. Just because... Um, oh, we got a spider head. 
go ahead and throw those on. Might as well. Um, but because I'm hoping to get into the um, applied energistics, you know, before too long, hopefully. It's not like in the next couple episodes or anything, but... Um, yeah, we already got that one. Alright. Oh, we found a iron ingot, book, no dimlet, treasure, iron pick. Well, we're starting to get a little bit better stuff. It's not all just sticks and uh, random little pieces of food and whatnot. Alright. Oh, good god. Okay. We'll just shoot them dead. That's what we're gonna do. Hey. I don't know what's this random. Oh god. This random FPS dropping. It's just getting on Monday nerves. Okay. Okay. And let me go ahead and actually eat some some of this food. Okay. Sorry for all that noise. Okay, we've already been that way, so I guess we'll go back to the hub. Yeah, we did a check all the yeah. Okay. Alright. Come on, what's with all this FPS? Alright, that looks like the way down. Oh man, we got a bunch of guys coming down this hall. FPS. Oh my god. It's driving me insane. I don't know what's with it. And now it's like, okay. Well, now we can just run fine, whatever. Now that you're not, like, getting killed by mobs. Let me warp back and we'll grab our stuff real quick and take care of that skeleton. And that spider. That's great, too. I love spiders. Just punch him to death. Well, at least on the plus side, it does seem to be behaving a little bit better now. No. Okay, I spoke too soon. About to say, that's not everything that I had. Get this stuff put on real quick here. And our inventory kind of organized back. And that, that, that. And, um, yeah, whatever. Okay.
actually I'm not going to keep all these spider eyes because they're counting as food and in addition I was mainly keeping them because I was thinking oh we'll use them for Steve's carts but I just realized Steve's carts not isn't even in this pack so um, there's really no reason for us to hold on to them alright now let's get down this damn hallway oh, cool cool That's where you guys were coming from, huh? So you pick that up. Pick that up. Buckets are one, I mean, uh, books are one of those things I hate crafting. And I don't really know why. I think it's just because, um, early game, like, leather, eh, usually don't have, like, a plethora of it because uh, chances are you don't have a cow farm and I don't know I guess because of that maybe I've just kind of developed the hatred for crafting <laughs> books I don't know got an iron axe, bone another blank info fragment alright um, go ahead and grab this actually we'll just eat it Sorry for the racket. Alright. Oh shit! Oh come on. Cool, I love it. When Oh my god, that fucking FPS issue is driving me insane. Like, it's like, oh, well, your FPS is going to run fine when you're not in battle. But for some reason, when you go to fight anything, we're just going to jack it all up. Die already. And then of course I gotta fucking put all this shit back on and all that mess. And it's just just a big hassle. Is what it is. And it's kinda driving me insane. Um, let's put all these empty ammo things. Put that in there. That throw on this armor. Oh, we're like out of armor. Okay. Well, we'll throw on this helmet. And we don't have... Okay, pants. We've got pants. We have pants. Okay. And torches. And put that there and this here and this here. Okay. Alright. And it sucks because, like, I was actually getting a decent amount of XP, and then, like, hey, FPS is dropping. Have fun with that. There it goes. Just like, oh, hey. You like your FPS to just fucking bomb out? Alright, ironing it, take all that, oh, and this iron axe too, just because we can, I don't want that, I don't want that at all, okay, I mean I don't know if it's just because there's so many spawners in here and it's like, Hello! Hello! Oh. 
All right. There we go. Iron string, yeah, paper, whatever. Oh, bones. Yeah, we'll take those. Don't want all that shit. Don't really care about that or that either. If I'm being totally honest, um, string, gold sharpness. Nope. It always sounds like there's like a zombie right behind you when you're in these places. And it drives me insane. Alright. Come on. Okay, axe, my bad. Technical block. We've got a bunch of chests in here. I think like most of it's just junk. The only reason I'm grabbing those seeds is because, um, if you recall, we'll need them for Batania, so. Figured might as well. Um. Okay. Alright. I think we're decent, getting decently close to f being done exploring this, um... <laughs> this floor of the, the dungeon. Now that, you want to be careful, because... I'm about to say, I swear to God, if it just runs me off of that. These... Little areas like right there in front of me, it's that pressure plate. There's generally pistons back, yeah, right there. For example, and we're gonna go ahead and grab it because we can. Okay. Looks like we got lava right above us there. All right, nothing down here. Oh, we got some paper and another blank chromatic craft fragment, which is not ideal. Okay, so this way. I've explored that way. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. This spawner, yes. If you notice, if if you want broken spawners, this is the place to go. And also worth noting, if you are running a pack that has soul shards, in addition to one of these, um. Which, if you're not familiar, Soul Shards is a mod where you can make Soul Shards and fill them with mob souls and vein cracking one. Let's take it. Um, and then you can use those mob souls to make spawners. Once you get them, you know, there's different strengths depending on how many souls you put into it. And the high tier takes a thousand souls. So um, it can be kind of grindy, but you can actually use these. Um, these spawners, you can right click them with a soul shard and actually destroy the spawner and collect the soul into it. And these things, these uh, roadblock dungeons are amazing for collecting those soul shards. So, definitely if you've got them both in the pack, that's, that's your way to make spawners right there. Alright. Now, the next floor down is probably going to be a whole lot better loot, I imagine. Ready. Now, this is going to bring us right back into, uh, you know, where we came down at. And, of course, we went this way 
Um, last time, we didn't explore everything. Did we explore straight? No, we didn't. There's spiders in here. But I figured exploring this dungeon's probably going to end up being a two-part episode. Um, or a two-part thing because... You know, we're on the second floor, and there's generally about, I think, four floors. So next episode will probably be, you know, the, the last two floors of it. Um, enchanted book for protection one. Yeah, we'll take it. A bucket. Um, I'm running out of space here. Of course, I've got a bunch of just junk that I can, honestly, I could toss down. Like these two sticks. Um. Iron pick, iron sh I mean a stone pick, stone shovel, that kind of thing. We'll throw that stuff down. Grab the iron shovel though. Because that could come in handy. It makes uh, my clearing out and stuff in the mountain quite a bit quicker. So. Now this looks like a mess hall or something. And honestly, these roguelike dungeons, if you want to take the time to clear them out and light them up, they make excellent bases, especially starting starting out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and eat some of this food. Just because it makes our life a tad bit easier. Alright. And I'm betting this direction right here probably links back over to the other the other hallway. So we'll take a look at that. Oh. These technical blocks suck, by the way, um, from Chisel, because you can't place torches onto them. So. Now we got spiders coming. A lot of spiders. But at least the, um, I've noticed the FPS thing has gotten a lot better. I don't know if it was just, it's possible because of the immense number of spawners that are in these dungeons and the immense amount of mobs that are in these dungeons. It's possible it could have just been causing us an issue because of, God, get out of here. Uh, it could have been you know, just spawning a lot of mobs and things and giving us issue from that. I don't know. Alright, I don't want all this shit. Don't want all this shit. Alright. Well, let's see what's in this. that. Gold pick, yeah, might as well. Case hardened pick. Efficiency unbreaking. Um, sure. We'll throw that in there and that in there. Um, okay. And we'll add it to our random collection of just crap that I pick up. Out of force of habit. Okay. We'll go this way. Well, that chest actually had some pretty decent stuff in it. Um, all things considered. Alright, we'll just throw all this junk on the ground. And apparently we have a server restart in 10 minutes, but I do believe that's going to be time to finish out this floor and like I said uh, once we cut camera we'll come back next episode and do the next floor you'll get to see how it does it does ramp up quite a bit chances are we'll be running into blazes um, that's usually a thing on the last floor because the floors have um, kind of like themes almost like if you notice the next one we're going into like a technical block thing um, but on down the line a little bit, we'll be going into basically nether. It's nether uh, bricks and, and whatnot, usually. 
and then we'll come into. So, uh, basic turn. Uh, no. Okay. We'll just take these things and keep on going. Oh, good. Rotten food. Steadfast drone. Huh. Oh. Actually, this is where I came down at. Like, down into there. That's why there's, like, randomly some just junk in here. I think. Anyway, let's run back to the where we entered at. And we should be able that like I said that's the way down um, if you notice it looks kind of interesting and it's it's nice for prospecting down there because you can actually of course see through the um, you can actually see through the ground oh we've already explored this way all right I know the episode's about 30 minutes right now so we'll probably call it we'll run down there and just take a look see what the um, little entrance area is going to look like hmm what is behind that probably warm phenaxite must be associated with heat energy okay that is actually for chromaticraft if you notice it's popping up there at the, the right hand side of the screen so we're going to grab this stuff I guess Okay, and that gives us Phyraxite. So some of the more advanced stuff in the um, Chromaticraft and things like that, I, I've never gotten too much into because Chromaticraft does take a while to get advanced in, and the stuff that you end up making is very complex as far as uh, like multi-block structures and whatnot. So. Yeah, if you notice right there, we got a couple witches, um, and yeah, so there's a lot, a lot going on in here. So, but we'll save this for the next episode. Um, plus, I need to dump off our bag because it's uh, quite full. Um, and I will show you this room that I did today yeah today a little bit of last night as well um, like right here and we'll probably actually use a design similar to this for a lot of the rooms um, kind of something I'm thinking of there and uh, one other quick thing if you notice our botania plants did turn into dead bushes so we did get a little bit of mana We'll get into that in an episode here before too long. And um, if you also notice, I did move the water wheel up here. Because I was kind of thinking of we might set up to the water wheels up here and have the water run down the mountain. I don't know. Um, if you have an opinion whether or not you like that or not, just leave it in the comments. Let me know. So, um, But yeah, I guess we're going to end it there. Next episode, we will probably continue with the dungeon. Hopefully, we're not having the FPS issue that we were having today um, with the random drops. I noticed it did get better towards the end. So maybe as we got deeper and took out some of those spawners, um, maybe it was getting better. So, But uh, yeah, definitely join us for next episode. And uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe, share. It's very much appreciated. And until next episode, take care, and I will see you then.